Diuretics are used in the management of hypertension, CHF, and certain kidney diseases, among other conditions. They are classified according to their mechanism of action. In this animation, we will review the physiology of glomerular filtration, regional transport, and the mechanism of action of diuretics. Here are some of the major organs impacted by proper functioning of the kidney. Let's zoom in on the kidney. Here, we see the renal artery arising from the abdominal aorta. The renal artery supplies blood to the kidney and adrenal gland. Major functions of the kidney include removal of waste products from the circulation, balance of fluids, electrolytes, and metabolites, and ensuring homeostasis by regulating the amount of water and solutes excreted in the urine. The parenchyma of the kidney is divided into an outer cortex and an inner medulla. We will now zoom in on the nephron, the functional unit of the kidney and focus in on the glomerulus. In normal glomerular filtration, blood flows from the renal artery to afferent arterioles. It then travels through glomerular capillaries, where a filtration occurs. The filtrate passes through the proximal tubule, where most filtered substances are reabsorbed back into circulation. What remains unfiltered in the blood continues on through the efferent arteriole. Now that we have reviewed glomerular filtration, let's proceed to regional transport and the mechanism of action of diuretics.